Welcome to Friar Park. The year is 1899 and you have just arrived at the south entry gates to the Grand Estate. The month is May. A warm breeze blows in from your left as you feel the warm rays of sunshine as they land upon your head and shoulders. You are standing on the edge of the broad driveway that leads into Friar Park. The gates are just under a hundred foot in front of you. On the right hand corner is a red brick wall that was designed to look like a mini watchtower. There are three deep set stone arched windows along the exterior of the tower and three facing within the gardens. Alongside of it is a low brick wall that is surmounted by an iron fence. There are trimmed evergreen hedges on the other side. The driveway leads to four tall gate piers. They are made of red brick and have stone coping and banding. The piers support heavy iron carriage gates. There are two of them. Each is roughly six foot in width and eight foot in height. On each side of the carriage gates are ornamental pedestrian gates that are roughly ten foot high and three foot wide. The two outer gate piers are surmounted by friars' heads on the top that are roughly the same size as an actual human head. The two inner piers are surmounted by cast iron lamps. At the front of the pillars are engravings of the Fall and Noah in the Ark. They were inspired by and emulate those seen in Babylonian sculptures. Around the pillars are designs of the heads of an angel, a devil, a sphinx, dragons, a flying horse, winged serpents and other mythical winged beings. There is also an engraving of a monster with a woman's head and body and a bird's wings and claws. There are also engravings of reclining monks and all sorts of bizarre faces. Some with their tongues sticking straight out. This is certainly an unusual way to design the entry gates to one's home. The carriage gates open to allow three horse-drawn carriages to pass through, bringing with them members of your group who decided not to walk through the town as you had. Since they are arriving after you, it makes you wonder just where they have been. Perhaps they made a detour to a local pub. Some people walk through the open gate, but you do not follow. Not yet. You have spent innumerable hours daydreaming about entering through these gates and seeing all the things that you have read and heard about. You have high expectations. This is not just a walk in the park. This is an adventure. This is your adventure. Are you ready? But don't rush forward just yet. Stay right where you are for another moment. Close your eyes. Take in a deep breath. Hold it for a moment. Let it out slow. Open your eyes. The pedestrian gate is now wide open. You are about to cross the threshold. This is the moment you have been waiting for. Welcome to Friar Park.